My name is Victor Banerjee, I'm from India. I speak six languages. I'm studying in the Faculty of International Relations in Karaz and Kharkov National University. When I came to Ukraine, I really heard about all the tolerance that this country had. But it was all about the love and all about the happiness that people have here. Uh, I was really happy to be in Ukraine and I was really happy to be in this country because the tolerance that people have here is indespicable. I've heard, I, I felt really proud today to uh, play my own festival, the festival of colors called Holi, and I was surprised that it is being here in Ukraine. Why choose Ukraine as a destination? For beginners, let me introduce myself. In 1884, the university was founded, and in 1885, it was uh, f opened for the very first time by Vian Karazina. I choose Kharkov as a destination because it has a very rich history, and the history was development of the economic relations, and it helped me develop as an individual itself. I chose Ukraine as a destination for my dreams because I wanted to be a diplomat. I am studying in the Faculty of International Relations. I always wanted to help people and be more successful in life. This is my dream and it will always be what I want. The privilege that will give me in my country is that I will have more higher education than the diplomats in India. Basically in India nobody in politics is educated enough, that's why our country is going backward. I want to be uh, one step ahead of all the politicians in that country. I feel really proud to live in Ukraine because it has really made me value my culture. The local government. Ukraine has taught me a lot. In fact, by the help of my professors and my group mates, they, I have learned that I have a hidden talent of singing. It has taught me the basic things in life. And my faculty, the Faculty of International Relations, has really been really kind and generous. And with their support, I have been able to excel in academics. Um, as you saw that we were preparing for Holi right now and basically uh, the, all the support that I get is also from my group mates and from my uh, country people actually. <laughs> What I want to say in the end is that happiness is not in big things in life. Happiness is in small things. Because smile, these little smiles let you mend your way. And it's what lets you work further in life. Because in the end, it's what matters the most. So here's a thumbs up for everything that happens. مرحبا انا اسمي محمد رحيم التميمي انا من العراق و ادرس في اوكرانيا اعيش في ايفانا فرانكيفس منذ حوالي سنه ونص ادرس جامعه النفط والغاز واخترت الدراسه في هذه الجامعه تحديدا لان بلدي غني بالنفط والغاز الدراسه في جامعتنا رائع الكادر التدريسي مؤهلين تاهيلا عاليا المختبرات في الجامعة لدينا هي مجهزة تجهيز جيدة بعد كل تدريب عملي لدينا انطباعات إيجابية ونحصل على تجربة جديدة في كل مرة وخاصة بعد المحاضرات والدروس العملية على منصة الحفر نحن هنا نقوم بدراسة نماذج عمليات إنتاج النفط والغاز وتطوير هندسة حقول النفط والغاز والعديد من المواضيع الأخرى أنا أستمتع بحياتي في هذه المدينة إيفانا فرانكيز هذا سائل الحفر وهذا النفط الخام وكل الإجراءات والعمليات التي ما بينهم هي مستقبلة
Hello, my name is Cem. Uh, I'm from Turkey. I'm studying master at the uh, Department of Aircraft and Space Systems. Uh, my specialty is aircrafts and helicopters. Uh, after finishing bachelor degree in Istanbul, I decided to come to Ukraine and continue my education at KPI uh, because it's one of the most uh, authoritative uh, and largest uh, technical universities in Europe. Uh, Ukraine uh, has its own aircraft manufacturers such as uh, Antonov. Uh, in Antonov they built passenger aircrafts and the world's largest cargo aircrafts, uh, Miria and Ruslan. Last year, uh, KPI's nano satellite was launched into the Earth orbit uh, and this satellite can be used for uh, communication, meteorological and military uh, purposes. Education in KPI is not only theoretical but also practical. Now we are in students' laboratory, they are working on their uh, UAV systems, uh, they are installing their control units to this aircraft. After graduating from the Kiev Polytechnic Institute, my plan is to go back home and teach the knowledge that I've learned to new students. So I invite you all to come and study at Kiev Polytechnic Institute. Ukraine is a very big and good country. Ukraine, what a large and beautiful country. When I came here, I was overwhelmed. There are so many interesting things to see here. In Ukraine, I became an engineer. And this is not just about building houses. For me, this is about creating cities for our future. Yes, this is Kyiv. Kyiv is so beautiful. It's a very big city. It has gardens. It's like a very big garden itself. I've been to other cities in the Ukraine, and I must say they're like quite nice. They're modern and they're developing. Music is my life. Here in Ukraine, my music acquired new colors. It has become brighter, warmer, and more joyful. I mastered Ukrainian within a year. Thought it would be harder, but my teachers were very helpful. And also my new friends whom I made in Ukraine. We all live in a hostel. It's like home, but more fun. I like Ukrainian people very much. They're so open-hearted and friendly. A lot of young folks speak English. When they know that you're a foreigner, they always want to help you. Always smiling. It's great to live and study with such people. If you wanted to be a pilot since early childhood, studying hard is not going to scare you off. I got very lucky with my teachers. Of course, when I finish studies, I'll go back home. My country badly needs highly qualified pilots. But I feel that with the knowledge I got in Ukraine, I can be successful in any country of the world. Now I know what it feels like to get a plane off the ground and fly it into the sky. In Ukraine, I found my love. This is my Ukraine. Beautiful. Smart. I never knew I would find my destiny here. Now it will always be with me. My love and my Ukraine. Before me, there had been no doctors in our family. And I always wanted to be not just a doctor, but a highly qualified surgeon. I've come a long way to reach this goal. But for me, this goal is larger than life. My friends who studied with me work in different countries, but we often call each other, share memories of our student years in Ukraine. Those were the days. Ukraine. Youth. Education. Destiny.